Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's Sidra with Mental Wellness Monday. Super excited to be here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was glorious here in Southern California. Absolutely glorious. It's getting a little warmer than I like, but I can't complain, right? I choose to live here every day. So today's topic is check in on somebody that might not be doing as well as you think. And the reason I have that as a topic is I was talking with someone the other day and they were really frustrated with their mom. Um, I can't remember why, but I think the mom just wanted to shut down a business she had. That was it. The mom wanted to shut down the business she had. She was over it. The daughter had moved to help her with her business. So she wasn't happy. And I think we forget, especially for people who have been home a lot, who have been watching all the information about the virus. You know, some of us are like, oh, like California is tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow is lifting everything. And you guys know California has not been playing with this virus. Um, so we can actually not wear masks if you're vaccinated. We can go to restaurants. Businesses can open back up. It's like, it's so amazing. It's so good. I'm so grateful. And so some of us are like, woohoo, thank goodness, you know. But you know what, you guys? There's a lot of people out there that are still scared. There's a lot of people out there that have been traumatized by this last year and a half. And I think I've talked to you about this before, but I'm a firm believer and and researchers are now starting to say that the mental health ramifications of COVID are going to be much greater than the physical ramifications. And they're going to be long-term. The ramifications on people who literally sit at home every day and watch that ticker go by to see how many people have died. Older people, vulnerable people, sick people that are still afraid of the virus. They're still scared because they know that not everybody's going to get vaccinated. And that is going to cause them stress. And so with my friend, I was like, look, this might not be about your mom's business. This might be about she just can't take it anymore. She's just got too much anxiety, too much fear, you know, because people go into that business. And she never thought about talking to her mom about that. She was just frustrated, and rightly so, that her mom just wanted to shut down a thriving business that she'd kind of been wanting to do a couple years ago. So here's some things to look for in the people that we love people that we care about, that we might think is one thing, but maybe it's really anxiety and stress over the virus. And maybe instead of getting angry and frustrated with them, maybe we need to reach out to them and ask them, are they okay? Make a few more phone calls. So here are some of the symptoms that you might see. One, is somebody having more feelings of fear anger, sadness, worry, numbness, numbness, or just incredible frustration? Do you see someone that's having a change in their appetite, their energy, their desires, their interests? Maybe they're just not feeling it anymore. Um, do you, and this could be you too, so if you see yourself in any of these symptoms, you get some support too. Um, how about difficulties concentrating and making decisions? Difficulties sleeping or maybe having nightmares? Physical reactions like so headaches, um, body pains, stomach problems, maybe their skin is breaking out, mental health issues, and even just chronic health problems that are getting worse. And this is a big one. Have you seen an increase in tobacco use, alcohol, or other substance use? 
All these things are our way of just dealing with the pain, of mitigating the pain, or the pain and the fear and the anxiety showing itself. But we're not talking about what's underneath. And again, if you hear these topics and you're thinking, shoot, I've been angrier lately. I've been eating more lately. I can't sleep lately. Maybe you're struggling with some of these things too. And the good thing, there's help. A lot of therapists now still are offering free telehealth um, sessions. So check with your local mental health agency, check with your insurance, check with your government insurance or your state insurance. You might be able to get therapy for free. But sometimes it just comes down to connecting with somebody. You know, we've talked about that a lot, the power of connection. Maybe that's all you need is just connect with someone. Or if you're doing okay, who could you connect with? Who could you maybe provide some free resources to that might help them to live a better life, to be more happy? So I hope this has been helpful for you today. This is very doable. We can do this, but it might take just a little bit extra, just a little bit extra to get through this difficult time. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. And everybody, please don't forget that you deserve happiness now. Have a great day, everybody.